So with a missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. This is taken just shy of the 10. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Now they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. They'll roll them out right. And pass the 40 before he's out of bounds. Looks to me, partner, like he's learned a little bit because earlier in the game, I think he was trying to force a lot of throws into his windows that just weren't open. Yeah, the interceptions had plagued him, especially a second interception, really a bad throw. So maybe a better decision there. Yeah, no doubt about it. I think he learned from earlier in the game, and he's applying it now. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 64 yards rushing for him now as he has been strong here in the first half of this divisional round matchup. Right back to him on first down. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game of the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Allen's throw taken in by Diggs. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 17-yard line. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Dance into his left. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now they try the right side here. The broken tackle could not free him as he's brought down at the 10-yard line. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A great effort there. Taking it in. And the Bills get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. And here's Tucker McCann now for the PAT. That is good, and that'll make it 20 to 7. McCann's got it teed up. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Cleveland offense ready to go. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Second and six. Thank <laughs> you. 
Off of play action, it's Watson. He'll buy some time right. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. Watson on first down. Letting one fly deep for Cooper. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in the first half of play. On first down, Watson forced out to his left. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. the incomplete pass here now is second and ten Watson looks to throw again now he's got it touchdown Anthony Schwartz as the first half is winding down and the Browns would extend their lead here just before halftime extra point safely through and that pushes the lead up to an even 20 so not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Taking it about the one. And they're going to bring him down just past the 15 and a flag down as well. well. That holding call set him up with not great field position. Not at all when you tack on the penalty. With that field position after the return wasn't terrific. It's not a great starting field position as well. A very costly holding penalty. It backs him up all the way inside their 10 to start this drive. Allen off the play fake. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. A final shot before half for Allen. He's going to air one out for Anderson. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Well, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, win or go home, that's the name of the game. And we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional Round. Fielded right around the eight. Oh, good return up past the 30. The Browns drive about to get started. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively. They make it even bigger plays in the passing game. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. Crunch. Crunch. Check it out, check it out. 
On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And that'll hurt the average a bit, as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Watson, off play action. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Defensive back here for the Bills on third down. Let's go, let's bring it. Let's bring it. Handoff comes to Chubb. And he gets this inside the 35 yard line. 114 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in this divisional round matchup. So first and 10. And if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Second down now. It's Hammond. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Well, lots of praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating right now on this drive. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. go left side on the ground with Chubb and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8 it's another 10 yards on that one and another first down looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive because when you see that type of a run I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired and that's the last thing they need especially when they look up at the scoreboard faking the give now Watson the quick slant caught. Touchdown, Browns. From eight yards out. And the Browns take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. come to the line to start their next drive. They've got to dig down deep. I mean, they need something right now, really anything to cling on to. This offense has struggled. 
partner, join me in a walk to their locker room at the half, okay? Because I think what we would have seen is an offensive coordinator and his and his assistant coaches getting together with all their positions, then coming together as a group, going over adjustments, and then the head coach coming in and just screaming, wake up. Yeah. Let's get moving, guys. I'm kind of glad we weren't in there at halftime, actually. <laughs> I mean, you think you might have turned it on us, too? Yeah, but right now, whatever was said hasn't been working. On play action, Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen going deep for Diggs. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. Similar to a shooter in basketball just connected on the previous shot. They run another set for him on the next play. Now, we had a guy who made the catch. They tried to get the big one downfield, but came up empty. Now a handoff as they run left side. And little room to maneuver there. He gets it down to about the 39. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Uncorks one for Davis. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. A great play there. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bills get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Allen will try to throw for it. And it's incomplete, but a flag is down here, so hang on. Let's see what we've got. So we race the flag. They decline it. And did they use the big eraser, or was that the one at the end of the number two pencil? Well, I was thinking, the, like, the two-by-two-inch ones that you can buy. Yeah, yeah. In and addition to the pencil. And those last for a long time, no doubt. And the Browns were able to cover this one up. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort, at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Chubb will get the call, running left. Chubb will have the first down and much more. And all the way in, touchdown, Cleveland. Nick Chubb with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Browns are drawing closer to a date in the AFC title game as they extend this fourth quarter lead. Extra point, hugged the upright a bit, but he gets it to go. And that'll increase their lead to 20. Called for and collected right at the 10-yard line. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat, if that, as they begin here with a first and 10 on the wrong side of the scoreboard. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. And after getting tackled, he's still down and looking very slow to get up. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. And a very short pickup there across the 15 to the 16. The Bills on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and three to throw. It's Allen. 
And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Again, it's Johnson. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. The Bills on third down. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. This time it's third and three. Out to the left. He's got his tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down. And he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. They'll hand it off now. Johnson. And he'll be brought down at the 50 after a gain of about five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. On play action, Allen sliding out of the pocket. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll wind up with positive yardage. It's a gain of three, but now it's third down. He has a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there, and he winds up giving the ball away. After the interception, here's Watson. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. A contested ball here, and it's going to be caught. A big connection on that one. 36 yards. So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and ten. Throwing now, Watson. He's going to go up top again. And this is caught inside the five. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. And right now, Charles, I think you'd have to say their class starting to show through. Yeah, they were disappointed not to get the number one seed in the playoffs, but the reality is these guys can play anywhere. It doesn't matter for them. And if they can indeed hold on to this lead, that's going to set up one heck of a championship game next Sunday. Let's come back and watch it, shall we? I, something tells me you and I are going to be there. From the 10. And they're going to start in a hole as he's brought down at the 11. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. There'll be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. Johnson again on second down and he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line 
It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. To the air, Allen. Buying time to his left. First down and more for Allen. And he's all the way up to the 39-yard line that time. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get it with 16 seconds remaining on the clock. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing now is Allen. Escaping the pressure right. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure. And it's second down. Johnson running left. Third and 15 coming up after that loss of two. The Browns going to roll on as we say so long, everybody. Thanks for watching. For my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew, I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports.